say that I think of all the um, collaborative relationships you have as a director, like you've got to collaborate with, speak, arti you know, convey artistic ideas with the guys designing the poster, to your editor, to, you know, but I think talking to the composer is the hardest one to use words for, for obvious reasons that I'm sure you've explored in depth in the labs, which is just like, there aren't words, you're talking about music, you're trying to use words to talk about music, and I mean, I love that shorthand that you guys have about remember that thing from 35 years ago. Like, that's the way you should really do it, is refer to something as opposed to, so I often felt like we were there with Todd late at night and using non-musical terms to talk about music, and I just felt like our words were often so inadequate. And I was thinking, I would think, how is Todd ever going to, like, glean from this something that he can then put into a new musical cue. Um, but so I think there's, I actually am always impressed with how well, first how patient composers are with inarticulate directors who don't really know musical terms. I mean, we were just making up musical terms, right? And like every once in a while, Todd would be like, what was that you say? Like we would try to say things musically and we didn't really know what we were doing. But I'm always impressed with how composers can kind of get a sense and Todd would come back with something that did get it, we had suggested somehow. I'm sure that's really challenging for you guys. Composers. I, I'm just going to say, I was at the labs, and I think it was the first stop composer lab with Miriam and Chris, who's in the audience. And one of the great things that I think you taught us, and you taught us as directors, is that we don't always have to know those musical terms. It's really, tell us the emotion. Tell us really what you're feeling. And let us try to train it. 